How to Cultivate a Self-Sacrificing Spirit What practical steps can we take to help our brothers and sisters? Be alert to the needs of others. The Apostle Paul admonished the Hebrews, Do not forget to do good and to share what you have with others, for God is well pleased with such sacrifices. Hebrews 13, 16 That was practical advice. Not long after receiving this letter, Christians in Judea had to leave their homes, their businesses, and their unbelieving relatives and had to begin fleeing to the mountains. Matthew 24, 16 At that time, there was no doubt an urgent need for them to help one another. If prior to this they had been applying Paul's advice to share what they had with one another, they would have found it easier to adapt to their new way of life. Our brothers and sisters may not always let us know about their needs. Be approachable. No doubt you know brothers and sisters in your congregation who are always ready to help others. They never make us feel that we are imposing on them. We know that we can count on them when a need arises, and we would love to be just like them. Our self-sacrificing attitude can be contagious. As we do our best to imitate Jesus' self-sacrificing attitude, we too will experience the joy of gaining Jehovah's approval.